Welcome aboard, everyone. Should you have any questions during the flight, please feel free to ask your pilot. Thank you for flying with Manhattan Helicopters and Zip Aviation. Enjoy your trip. As we're taking off southbound, you can see Brooklyn on the left, and to our right is the first site on our trip, Governor's Island. Given its strategic location, the island served as a military base for both the British and American armies. It was later transferred to the Coast Guard for defensive purposes, and in 1995, all military operations ceased on the island. In 1996, it was sold to the city of New York for a symbolic price of $1. And though there was pressure exerted to transform the island into several different things, such as a residential area, tourist attraction, and a casino, today the island serves as a public park. On the left side of the helicopter, you can see the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, the longest suspension bridge in the US, connecting Brooklyn and Staten Island. In front of us stands the majestic Statue of Liberty situated on Liberty Island given to the United States as a gift from the French in acknowledgement of their shared enlightenment, ideals, and alliance in the Revolutionary War. The architect of the statue was Frederick Bartholdi, and the internal structure that supports over 150 tons of copper was designed by the famous Gustave Eiffel. The lady stands at over 150 feet. Imagine, her index finger is over eight feet tall. The copper on the statue comes from Coppervig, Copper Bay in Norway. Inaugurated on October 28, 1886, the statue, along with the Brooklyn Bridge and the Empire State Building, is one of the most recognizable symbols of New York. She represents the national values of freedom and equality, as immortalized in Emma Lazarus's poem, The New Colossus, inscribed at her base containing the famous lines, Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, yearning to breathe free. She is, in fact, the most visited national monument in the country. Moving on, we have Ellis Island, the famous immigration gateway and symbol of the melting pot of America where millions of immigrants were received and processed. Today, it houses a magnificent museum illustrating the stories of those who left their countries of origin in search for a better life. Heading north, we are flying over the Hudson River. To our right is Ground Zero, the location of the old Twin Towers, an important financial and commercial center worldwide that was leveled on September 11, 2001. Today, the site is home to the 9-11 Memorial and the new Freedom Tower. It is the tallest building in the U.S. at 1,776 feet. As we continue, note how the size of the buildings is drastically reduced. These are the downtown neighborhoods of Tribeca, Little Italy, Chinatown, Soho, and Greenwich Village. These are attractive neighborhoods for strolling or shopping in all kinds of stores. They boast a vibrant nightlife and are a fine example of the diverse cultures of the city living side by side. Now in front of us we have the emblematic silhouette of the Empire State Building, which dominates Midtown Manhattan. Built during the Great Depression, it is currently the tallest skyscraper in the city and no doubt the most famous skyscraper in the world. It's been immortalized millions of times through photography, film, and television. With 102 floors, it rises to 443 meters tall and is calculated to weigh approximately 365,000 tons. Don't forget to visit it. The assembly of skyscrapers in Midtown makes up the largest part of the first-rate hotels, stores, and entertainment centers of the city, as well as a sizable part of the corporate centers and financial institutions. The round structure to the left of the Empire State Building is Madison Square Garden. Further back on the right is the Chrysler Building. With its needle-nose spire, it is widely considered to be the most beautiful skyscraper in the city and the most photographed, as well as a masterpiece of Art Deco architecture of the 1930s. Its contours evoke the decorative elements of the automobiles of the period. It was the first building to use stainless steel as a decorative component, its construction is shrouded with anecdotes such as that of the architect Richard Van Allen, who was never fully paid for his work. The owner of the Chrysler Automotive Corporation financed the building from his own pocket so that his children could inherit it. In the same area, we can also make out the United Nations headquarters and Grand Central Station. Now if we turn our attention to the Hudson Shore, we can see the intrepid aircraft carrier, a naval emblem of the Second World War Korean and Vietnam Wars, and an important part of the Apollo space program. 
Today it serves as an interactive museum with a vast collection of airplanes, including the world-renowned Concorde and the NASA Space Shuttle Enterprise recently moved to New York, housed under a climate-controlled and pressurized pavilion. South of Central Park at 42nd Street and Broadway, we find Times Square. Its name derives from the prestigious New York Times newspaper, which moved its headquarters there in 1904. Lit up by the lights of the Broadway Theater District, it is perhaps the most famous district in New York City. Few cities can claim to have a lung of tranquility and leisure center on par with the famous Central Park. The park extends from 59th to 110th Street and is more than three avenues wide, measuring almost four kilometers squared. It boasts massive recreation space and cultural events on a grand scale. The park itself is an example of the civic respect and attitude of New Yorkers towards their environment. The borders of the park are adorned with some of the finest museums in the country, such as the Guggenheim Museum, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and the Museum of Natural History. North of the park, we find Harlem. Few neighborhoods in the world can claim to have the cultural impact and importance of Harlem. Annexed to New York in 1873, it became a home for African-American ideals and artistic expression. Soon it became the cultural capital, a residential and business nucleus, as well as the intellectual and emotional center of the African-American community nationwide. Its most recognized structure, the Apollo Theater, stands out for catapulting many musicians to fame and shaping American musical culture. Now, further ahead near the shore, you can see the historic Columbia University, an institution of international prestige and alma mater to three U.S. presidents, including Barack Obama. Now heading back to our point of departure, we find ourselves over the impressive George Washington Bridge, mammoth connector of New York and New Jersey over the Hudson River. To the right side of the helicopter is the state of New Jersey and the city of Hoboken, birthplace of Frank Sinatra. We now invite you to take in the magnificent views and contemplate this grand city. To end our excursion, we turn to the Brooklyn Bridge, the oldest and most iconic of New York's bridges. After 16 years of construction, the bridge opened on May 24, 1883, unifying the then two separate cities of New York and Brooklyn. This laid the foundation for the unification of the five boroughs and modern New York City. Thank you for choosing Zip Aviation.